Hi, so here I'm going to show you how to annoy your coworkers who use Excel 2007. Now this is going to be the first part of a multi-part series where I'm going to show you lots of cool tricks and tips on how to annoy people you work with. So this is pretty cool. Let me give you an overview of what we're going to talk about today. How to make these scroll bars disappear. So these things. How to remove the sheet tabs the little tabs right down here, and how to hide objects. Now objects are things like charts, text box, any type of word art or smart art or pictures within the workbook. I also have here a list of the, uh, the location of the commands that we're going to be using so that you can find them later on. And you can also download this spreadsheet from teachexcel.com. Now let's begin. Go to the first sheet. Now what I have here is sample sales data for the month of April. So we got sales data here and then we have the graph right here and just some sample notes right here. So that gives us a total of three objects, a little arrow, a graph, and a text box right here. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually how to remove the scroll bars and the sheet tabs. Now in order to do this, simply go to the office button then Excel Options, and you'll see a screen like this. So we want to go to the Advanced tab, and from there, scroll down to where it says Display Options for this workbook. And then we can see some checkboxes for Show Horizontal Scroll Bar, Show Vertical scro Scroll Bar, Show Sheet Tabs, and then we've got one for the Objects. Now note that this feature only works for the current workbook, so you're not going to be able to turn off the scroll bars and the sheet tabs um, through this interface for all of Excel, only one workbook. And if he has multiple workbook op workbooks open, you can select them from this drop-down menu here. So let's go ahead and remove the scroll bars and the sheet tabs. Now simply uncheck these boxes. So uncheck horizontal scroll bar, vertical scroll bar, and sheet tabs click OK. And now you'll note that there are no more scroll bars or sheet tabs. So they really can't use those to move. However, if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can still move up and down. Or you can alternatively just move the cells with the uh, keypad arrows. So you can still actually move in the spreadsheet, but it's going to look like you can't. And you, you still can't click the sheet tabs, but if you know the shortcuts, you can simply hit control page up or page down to go between them. So if they know the shortcuts, it's not going to annoy them too much because they'll still know how to navigate, but it's still kind of a fun little trick to annoy a coworker with. Now the last part was to how to hide objects. So what we're going to do for that is how to hide these three objects here. Let's go back to the office button, Excel options, the advanced tab, then down to the display options for this workbook section, and under where it says four objects show, click nothing, hide objects. Then click OK. And voila, the graph, the arrow, and the text box are all gone. And unless you go back there and recheck that, you're not going to be able to see them again. So that's another cool way where you can just annoy him. So he'll think that, or your coworker is going to think that there is no graph and that all the stuff's been deleted, but it's actually there. He just can't see it. Now, if you want to make them reappear again, simply go back to the Office button, Excel Options, then to the Advanced tab, down to Display Options for this workbook, and to make everything come back, just recheck the boxes. Then for Objects, click Show All. OK? And everything's back. So we have our scroll bars again, and the sheet tabs, and it's all right here. So see, it doesn't actually hurt anyone or hurt anything or delete anything. But now I'm going to show you one last thing, which is how to hide the objects individually. So if you just want to hide the graph and make it look like the graph's been deleted, how to do that. So simply select any object. So click the graph if you want to select that. And then go up to the Format tab and click Selection Pane. Then this little thing will pop up, and it's going to show you all the objects that are in the worksheet. And an open eye means it's visible, closed eye means it's not visible. So if we click that, the graph disappears. This the arrow's gone, and this, the text box, gone. And that's how you can individually delete them. Now, say you accidentally close the selection pane right here after you've done this. 
you can't click the objects again so you can't get back to the selection pane to unhide them well actually you can just make sure you're on the home tab then go to where it says find and select in the editing box click that and it's a little bit off screen here but you'll see at the very bottom where it says selection pane so once you click that you'll get back to the selection pane and you can unhide everything now another way that you can make it a little bit more difficult to see the objects again is on the selection pane hide everything or just click hide all down here close that then go back up to the office button Excel options go back to the advanced tab scroll down then for objects show nothing click that click OK and now the objects were already hidden before we did that so let's try and go back to the selection pane find and select but note that the selection pane is now grayed out so you can't actually click it so you can't even rehide the objects so this is just another way to make it a little bit harder to figure out because if the person knows to go back to the advanced tab to unhide the objects they still won't show up until he goes to the selection pane so if we want to get everything back again go to the office button Excel options advanced tab then for objects show all click OK then we have to go back to the home tab find and select selection pane and then click show all and then they'll be back so that's how you can hide the objects in a spreadsheet how you can make the tabs disappear and how you can make the scroll bars disappear and like I said before it's kind of a neat thing if you want to annoy someone but it actually does have a useful purpose but that's for another tutorial and if you want to download this spreadsheet just go to teachexcel.com and you'll find this video there with a the spreadsheet